What's up, everyone? Happy Good Friday edition of the We Ride at Dawn. We are getting up there in numbers. We got 46 days left now. And uh, weather's breaking. And we're down here in Long Beach for, I believe it's the first time of this year. I don't think I've been down here yet this year. Definitely not in the sun. And this is totally a happy place right here. Look how pretty that is. How nice the water looks. A little windy here today. There's all the boats out there with all our stuff sitting in it. Keeping the prices up. Water looks busy today. Beautiful sunshine day. Good Friday. So good Friday. Good Friday, the day when Jesus died on the cross for all of our sins. Um, really the whole reason for our Christian religion, Catholic religion. Um, um, but a day of betrayment. So I talked about it yesterday. Uh, Judas Iscariot was paid 30 pieces of silver to betray Jesus and uh, lead him to go on the cross. And um, it makes me think a lot about betrayal. Um, not so much uh, betrayal of those around us. Well, we yeah, have betrayal of those around us, but betrayal to ourselves. Um, what do we do? What do we sacrifice uh, that's hurting ourselves? Um, we're making an effort to be on a diet and um, we're going out and eating a pizza. We're betraying ourselves. And if we're not keeping ourselves in good health, we're betraying our families that may lose us too soon because we're not um, not staying healthy for them. Um, are you betraying your finances? Is there financial moves you should be making um, that you're not? Are you racking up a credit card with all kinds of stuff you don't need to impress people that don't care? Every time you do that, you're betraying yourself. Um, are you betraying uh, your spouse? Are you uh, maybe not paying them attention to them that they need to uh, have the right attention? Are you cheating on your spouse? That's the ultimate betrayal. Um, are you betraying yourself and those around us? And really, really, really ask yourself that. Um, myself, I've betrayed my family and that I've worked too much and didn't pay attention to them. I betrayed my health and that um, I haven't always ate and drank what I should. Uh, at one point I was 305 pounds. I got all the way down to 222 and now I'm up about 25 pounds again and I'm kind of upset about it and realizing that I'm betraying myself. I made it a goal to get skinny, to be healthy and I'm betraying that goal. I got to that goal and I started betraying myself. Uh, betraying myself in that I said I was going to get to bed early every night and try and get a better system going and get up early and get a ride in every morning. And now I'm riding later in the day. Um, staying out late, um, not going to bed, watching some TV late when I shouldn't be sleeping. So a couple of things in my life that I know I'm betraying myself and betraying and betraying slash letting down those around me. So. With Easter in mind, uh, chance for us to rise again on Sunday, Easter Sunday. We know Jesus rose from the tomb. So in honor of that, it's time for us to rise to the occasion. It's time to stop betraying ourselves and those around us. Start doing what we need to do. Let's get our health in order. Let's get our relationships in order. Let's get our finances in order. Let's get this world in order. So this world needs help. And uh, it's up to us. To make the world a better place. They say that all the time. Um, let's not betray each other. Let's do what we say we're going to do. Let's do it to the best of our ability. And uh, let's, let's keep doing the right thing. So, there's your message of the day. Um, good Friday. Jesus, last supper last night, Jesus died on the cross, betrayed by Judas Iscariot for 30 pieces of silver. For 30 pieces of silver, Judas turned in his best friend. And basically set his friend up to die for 30 pieces of silver. So we, we screw up our health for a couple of glasses of wine. We screw up our health for some liquor. We screw, ourselves, screw our health up for some fast food. Um, very, very similar, similar. Um, and then betrayal. So there's a message today. Let's jump on prayers. It's windy here, but it's really pretty. You know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my coming, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to be strong and help us to not betray ourselves and those around us. Help us to live to the fullest ability that you've given each of us. And help us to uh, not falter. Uh, help us to recognize um, that you sent your only son to die on the cross for our sins and help us to never forget that and help us to be the best people we can be in, in this world and keep making this world a better place. So, amen. All right, everyone. So, there's your message. It's a beautiful sunshine day. It's Friday. I got to get ride in. I got to finish this ride up. I got to get home. And Joey's got baseball practice tonight. And I think we're going to take a hot ride out to Belmore train station to the car show and uh, spend some time with the kiddos and the hot rods. And hopefully the sunshine will last. This weather's beautiful. Need it to last. It's good for the head. It's good for everyone. Nothing like a sunshine day. All right, everyone. Get out there. Do your best every day. Don't betray yourself. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.